Shit up, man. Pop goes the bottle. About to uh, open this goes. sweet wine, which I doubt it's sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, you heard that. Probably what your butthole's gonna do when you take a sip. Mm. It says premium, so it's gotta be good. Man. Oh, that's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what Kenny said. Don't uh, mix it. It's probably terrible. You goofy bastard. Now you yeah, don't you, know you, what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, you can't give it a, an accurate representation. Or a, accurate yeah, I can if I take a sip off the top. You, you can see the color difference. between. It smells good, actually, I will say. John cracked open a bottle of wine that he got from a co-worker like two months ago, but he was afraid to open you it. You want to sniff? It's actually pretty smooth. I was actually shocked. It's not bad. It smells like brute clone. Yeah, it smells like the inside of a well digger's ass. <laughs> I did not smell that. But I think it's because you, the COVID. How much would you like, Russ? I, I didn't know I was having it. Pour it up, man. Get more than that. <laughs> Russ is a big boy. I'm a big boy now. Okay. He's, uh, he's, Here you go, big boy. He's cheated on his diet. But it's okay, though. It's okay. <laughs> it's better to cheat on your diet than your wife. Well, that's a fact. That is a fact. So uh, he had a little bit of tea bell tonight. I had uh, some Saturday, too. Cheesy gordita crunch. Boom. Mike, I had a couple tacos that I had yeah. a real cheese burrito. That's good. Mm, yeah. You waited like two months to open this? I Whoa. thought it was going to be stank ass. It's shit. premium. The stuff that Mike I got from him was like dry. That like, stuff was first rough. Yeah, that's not dry. No, that's sweet. He he knows I'm a sweet guy. Yeah. Well, let's see. <laughs> premium red Super wine. Sweet. I'm so sweet. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yeah, man. That's some good shit right there. Dan uh, gave you that, not Daryl? Yeah, no, Daryl didn't give it us. Yeah. Daryl got us ice cream. Daryl brought us ice cream. Daryl didn't get me shit. Daryl brought us ice cream, and then Daryl takes us to Chick Fil A like we're four years old, at least twice a week. <laughs> Y'all yeah. sit in the back seat as Daryl drives. I we do. Drives. We, <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. It's pretty cool. We, I kind of feel cool like we're being valeted or like yep. chauffeured. Yeah. Like, being Ubered. <laughs> hey man, if we would have made it with the chicken ship concept, we could have had a valet. We do have a valet. That's what I'm saying. We don't have to have the chicken ship. <laughs> Well, I feel super important. Like I'm being chauffeured around, and then I got security with which is my presidential. Tip. Yeah, I'm presidential. Presidential man. shit. I would like the windows a little bit darker, but you know. But a president doesn't drive or sit in the back of a 2014 Honda Civic. <laughs> it's not a Civic. It's a uh, it's a Blazer. Yeah. Oh, Blazer. Blazer, because we blaze. And it's not blue either. <laughs> blue Blazer. Yeah, it's not blue. <laughs> it's corduroy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pumpernickel. Pumper. What you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I said pumpernickel. <laughs> it was a nice vehicle until she got uh, he got rear-ended. Yeah. Somebody ran right in the back of that motherfucker. That the back The back end don't open, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was a bad deal. Like, the one day that the, the, it's all, it happened on a Friday. Oh, I was trying yeah. to get home at a decent time. Left a little early. That just goes to show you, like, you end up in places yeah. at certain times. If so you went left early, if, you wouldn't have been in that situation. If that stoplight catches you, don't get pissed off and run yeah, it. Run it. Stop. <laughs> no, because if you run it, you may just drive right into a crash. No, you run it so someone doesn't rear end you. Um, yeah. No. Well, they were, like, Daryl was stopped and exactly. they, they just... I've been there, I've been rear-ended twice, and both times it. He hurt. wasn't in a car both <laughs> times. Yeah, I had pants <laughs> off both times. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I got whiplash, <laughs> super bad. Yeah, whipped ass. Yeah, whipped yeah. ass. <laughs> Lick ass. Oh, I yeah, smacked, yeah. I smacked my head on the steering wheel. Oh, oh wow, wow. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> that kinky shit. Knock a bitch out, you know. <laughs> it hurt. Okay, <laughs> she put on. He went and hit the steering wheel. No, it was. Uh, that car was coming that hard and bam and my bam. fucking are you, are you are you I forgot John drives granny style he's right up there on the fucking <laughs> steering wheel mm -hmm. <laughs> seats all the way up <laughs> I want to say it's that I actually had, I was actually bracing for it and it's still bracing for him bam the, the, yeah. cause I heard it coming John sits so close the fucking airbag goes through the back of his fucking head <laughs> yeah no airbag went off well there's no whiplash cause it just sandwiches you between that <laughs> yeah. and the seat <laughs> ow I just hurt my nose <laughs> Uh, hey, at least you didn't break it. Yeah. I had a bloody nose, what, Wednesday? Yesterday? Yeah, you were telling me about that. Dude, my nose was fucking... I got elbowed in the... Or knee in the nose. Knee in the nose. 
and it would just pour like it just started just dripping blood everywhere that sounds I, great I dripped blood all over this person and then he's like man you should come and try this out and I'm like no, no it does not sound fun <laughs> at all not getting my shit broke no it looks fine right it's not crooked um, a little puffy it's a little puffy yeah Mike oh. could find better things to do than roll around with sweaty dudes. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> needs some self-defense work. Why? When have I got my ass beat? Yeah. <laughs> it's Micah yeah. does the right thing and avoids confrontation. <laughs> yeah. you got to stop running from conflict and then just fucking embrace it. I don't know how don't, much conflict I have yeah. in my life. I have I no need to conflict in my life. <laughs> I don't insert myself in other people's problems. <laughs> like if someone's getting mugged over there, I'm like, well, that sucks. And I just keep on walking. Hey, me. Yeah. I'll insert myself into other people. People are like, help, <laughs> help. I'm like, no, it ain't my problem. Keep on walking. If they scream help, I just like quiet yeah. down. People think this I'd is be rape. Like, I'd be like looking back like, y'all hear that? They need your help. No. I live I live my life with the not my problem. Quarter mile at the time. Not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm not just going to nope. insert myself anywhere, yep. any, anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, there uh, there is rules, like standards, I guess. Yeah, if it ain't my problem, it ain't my problem. Yeah. Ross is a nope guy. Nope. He just shuts them so down. So you saw an old lady getting robbed and mugged, you ain't going to do nothing? Probably not. <laughs> really? That's how people get stabbed. <laughs> you got to, what if he's like about to shoot this bitch? Like, just got a gun drawn on her? Well, about she, to she lived her. a long life. Oh, man. It's her you, time. You're supposed to no, protect people. Like, you hear of uh, so-and-so got in a car accident. And their car veered off the road and went into a lake or went into a pond. Yeah. And then you have the good Samaritan who stops, gets out of their car, jumps in the lake to save so-and-so, and then they drowned. Well, if you can't swim, why would you jump in the lake? No. If you didn't stop to help that person, you wouldn't have drowned it. Well, fate happened to be it was your day to go, too. So, if I don't insert myself in somebody else's problems, somebody else's situations, <laughs> there, there's no chance of me... So Dying you don't. So at the same time, you don't mind if everybody just walks by as you're getting jumped and fucking mugged. Yeah. You have no problem with that. Yeah. Like, if I'm, if I'm you're not gonna be like, what the fuck, man? Like, as you're getting pummeled by two, got two, two or three guys. Nobody else is coming to help no, you. No. Unless like I'll help like my friends, like people I know, but random people, no. All right. So if I'm the guy driving the car that's in the lake, and you see it happen, are you coming after me? You know damn well you're pulling him. I know that you have. (laughs) Yeah, I know you have stuff in your truck that can break the window and get out. But I'm in my car. He's unconscious. Yeah, no, Micah. He has a fucking uh, craftsman toolbox laying in the back seat of the Ford Mustang. (laughs) (laughs) What if I happen to clean my car out and that wasn't there, and I and it's been like two minutes and I haven't Houdini'd my way out? You're frugal. You 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 can. uh, I'm broke. (laughs) (laughs) I'm frugal. You're frugal. I know you. You know what you can, what you have to do to get out of this situation. What if I failed? Then, and I need assistance. Then John, John would, John's faster than me. John would get there quicker. Oh, I'm not a good swimmer though. <laughs> I would end up dying. It's knee high water. That's one of those I probably wouldn't go in there. <laughs> I, so, no, sorry, shit. Micah. <laughs> you have a shitty of a friend he is. Hey, God damn, man. I ain't gonna make it if I go in there. It would it, be my. John life. flat out said no. <laughs> I, I haven't answered the question yet. <laughs> it'd be. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be my luck. I'd cry. Any other situation, I got you, but water, are you drowning? Uh. It'd be my luck. I'd crash into Lake Parker all the gators at. Oh, man. Y'all fuckers would go over to Jimbo's, get you an apple pie and some ribs. Man, I sure hope he makes it. Good luck, buddy. Good Fuck. luck. But this pie sure is good. I've seen a lot of gators in there. That's what I'm saying. Like, a guy got eaten there one time hiding from the cops. Got eaten. Got eaten. Yeah. Eaten. Oughten. He was a meth head. And- yeah, he got eaten. Yep. During alligator mating season, you don't go into a damn alligator pond. No. During alligator mating season, you just that's rule number one. You got to respect gator because if you don't respect gator, gator don't respect you. Okay. Hey, fuck you, gator. Bam, you're mm-hmm. dead. You get chomped. Yeah. Yep. Pow. Respect a gator, you get your ass chomped. Mm-hmm. Oh, and if you see baby gators, get the hell out of there. Yeah. Because there's mama gator. Stuff on my gator. Mama, <laughs> mama, mama gator. Mama, mama gator don't play. Daddy mama gator. Daddy gator. Gator already went. <laughs> daddy gator. gator. Daddy Gator already ran away. You yeah. gotta worry about Mama Gator. Mama Gator already ate Daddy yeah. Gator. Daddy mm. Gator don't stay around. Yeah, Daddy Gator. Mm. Did y'all see that one alligator that was like walking or whatever on the golf course? And then yeah, that big motherfucker ass came, out of, came out, of out of nowhere. It looked like he was gonna eat the chicken bird that yeah. was up there, and like he was gonna get him. This motherfucking like ninety-two foot alligator came out of nowhere. That 
That and then whole, fuck that other gator up. That whole thing was the same sequence that like happened. Like Vagar and the House, House, of the House of Dragon. Big ass Spoiler dragon alert. just comes over and just chomps rips on the, the other. Like dragon. one bite, ripped the other dragon in half and ate the kid. Well, this big gator it. took this other little gator and took it into the water. Yeah. And just Fucking fucked it up. Fucking Vagar of gators. Mm. Mm. It was pretty badass. Yeah. I did see, uh, I, I screenshotted it, a woman, an Indonesian woman. She was 54. She went missing. And uh, they couldn't find her for two days, and they ended up coming across a 22-foot python. Mm. Guess who was in it? The, the missing, Indonesian. The, yeah, the, the, <laughs> Indone- the Indonesian. Indonesians. Uh, she, yeah, what she a was, shitty way to die. Yep. So Yeah, how do you get eaten by a fucking snake? They wrap you up. And yeah, blood. but how do you even get in that situation? Oh, there's a fucking snake over there. I ain't going over there. What if the motherfucker was hungry? F- at 54, you know, I don't see her. Any, I don't think I've met yeah. anybody that's 54 Ow. with dementia or anything. So, I mean, you have to kind of be in the like right, right state, right? Maybe she's walking through the rice paddies or something, right? <laughs> and the fucking thing, like, just jumps out of the bushes and gets your leg. And, like, you can't get away because they're strong. True. The yeah. Next thing you know, they, like, have you wrapped up like this and then you're fucked and then they squeeze you to death. And then once you squeeze to death, then they there's, eat you. There's a picture of the snake. It's a fucking big-ass snake. Like, oh, my gosh. That's the, crazy, man. They, they came across it and they had killed it. And then they, they what they, on it? <laughs> they, came, they came across the snake. They came on the snake? <laughs> yes. They mm. came on it, and then they opened it up. <laughs> Ooh. And then they found her inside. That's crazy, man. They it, came on it, and it turns out there's a lady inside. Well, wasn't there a thing like on the Discovery Channel a year or two ago where the guy was going to... Oh, like, look at that. Mike Evans dropped another pass. I think it got knocked away. But where a guy was actually wearing like a compression suit and was going to allow himself to get... I swallowed see something like that. I don't know what happened. And he got like halfway eaten and backed out or something. Was that David Blaine? Stupid. Huh? Was that David Blaine? No, it was like a real thing. Like it was a guy. Like he'd been training for it. And he's no. on a lot of fucking snake. It went through his hands and hit it in his chest. Oh. Oh God. What's wrong with him? That one, yeah. That's not good. Way to throw me off. Yeah, man. Just ruined this. Run. Got fucking Tom Brady slinging it into the ground. Yeah. And then, um. So you wore a wetsuit. Oh, yeah. It was like a thing on the Discovery get eaten Channel. by a fucking snake. Yeah. That's he was going to allow the snake to eat him, and then he was going to, like, get himself out. I don't know how he was going to make the snake regurgitate, but. <laughs> he, was he trying to recreate the Ace Ventura thing when Ace Ventura went in the fake rhino? Yeah, and came out and the ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, because a snake would have to die, right? If you're going to actually live through this whole thing. There's no way he would live getting eaten by a snake. Well, I don't think he would. Well, either. he was going to go feet first. That way the last thing to go in was his head so he could still breathe. But that snake would coil sh- itself around Yeah, and, and I'm sure as bones. that snake is swallowing it, it's sort of like it, it's, crushing. Yeah, it has crushing force for sure. Yeah. But that's why he was wearing this compression suit to keep that from happening. Like a swimsuit? Yeah, basically, like that's not gonna like stop the the no, like the things they wear down there to go shark. Yeah, wetsuit. Yeah, yeah. Say, shark suit ain't gonna oh, help you. No, it's just making sure he doesn't get fucking uh, snake guts and shit on him. Well, maybe that's why he realized halfway in this is a bad it's idea. Like, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> crushing, it's crushing me. He's like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> the suit ain't helping. But I mean, like, you know, at what point are you like, I wanna, I wanna get swallowed by a snake and then yeah. live to talk about it? There's nothing that. Nothing that makes me want to eat. That's Christmas the same guy who yeah. probably would play Russian roulette by himself. <laughs> nah. I do have an interest Loser. maybe to go uh, python hunting in the Everglades. I have zero interest. Yeah, but I'm good. I go python hunting every morning when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I go to take a piss in the morning. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta tame that beast. <laughs> Down. Well, maybe that's my problem. Smacks it on the head. Get that's that my problem. Yeah. I, haven't seen a, I haven't had an encounter with python. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Snake charmer, I usually get it under control. You don't know, get. <laughs> <laughs> it's, mine's not a python, it's a cobra, you know, whatever. It's that orange ring snake that was in Eddie's fool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that thing was tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I ain't that small. Dang, <laughs> uh, pen- well, like is it poisonous? <laughs> oh, it's poisonous. That thing It'll doesn't even spit. It'll get you. It'll get you. <laughs> 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 no, it's, a, it's a cobra for sure. Yeah. It's deadly. That's had its fangs ripped out. <laughs> oh. Speaking of getting bit by shit, my dad got bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I was shocked by this. By a real fucking human. Yeah. <laughs> wow. At work, of all places. Like, how crazy is that? You go to work, and you end up leaving, and you got a fucking mouth bite on your arm, and he doesn't even work at a daycare. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you, he's, he, not, he's not even Cam's daycare <laughs> yeah. a person. <laughs> like, see, if you don't get this under control with your son, <laughs> he's going to be this lady, okay? He's not going to pay his car payment and, get, and bite somebody when they repo your shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't put your, you don't put, reach across someone's face, okay? Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> Well, here's what happened. It was in reach, so she bit. Yep. yep. Fucking Miss Pac-Man. So they repoed this lady's car. She was behind three months in payments, which is four, eight. That's 12 payments because they pay weekly. So three months in payments. They try to give you benefit of doubt. Didn't work. Repoed the car. Well, the lady's daughter shows up with the... the the other ladies whose car, and she's going to get a car back. Well, they drove her sister's car, which they have also not been paying on for th- three months. <laughs> they couldn't find it for three months, so it's actually six months behind. Well, while the car is there, they realize, hey, we've been looking for that car for three months. It's six months behind. Like, since it's here on our lot, we can keep it here. So they kind of block it in so they can't get out. Well, whenever they realize what's going on, they decide that, nope, they're going to get in the car, and she's going to try to back out. Well, she runs over the salesman, knocks him down, and then my dad slides in on the passenger side to um, take the keys out of the ignition so that she can't cause any more damage to the yeah. lot or you know hurt People. somebody. <laughs> well, as he's pulling the key out, she bites onto his arm, and he pulls away, and it like rips all of the skin off of his arm, man. Uh. Yeah. So the cops get called, and she ends up going to jail. And uh, dumb bitch. Yeah. Pay your fucking car payment. Yeah. But and he, don't show up in a fucking other car that's about to get repoed. Yeah. So he got an ambulance ride. He wasn't gonna go. He's like, well, shit, I can just put a band aid on it. And they're <laughs> like, no, sir. You gotta understand that the human mouth is the dirtiest thing there is. Like, there's so much bacteria, and you don't know if this lady has AIDS or hepatitis, head, like, anything like this. They won't let him drive himself. No. So. And it was also probably for working comps reasons yeah. and all that stuff. So they put both of the my dad and the other guy in the ambulance and take them. And Ashton just happened to be working, so she got to go see him. <laughs> he didn't need stitches, which is good. And all of his tests come back good. What but. about the other guy? Did he actually he got ran over by the car? He got knocked like pinned in between and like you know he says he's got bruised ribs and um, so a he tweaked did get ankle. Hit by a car. Yeah, he got hit. Yeah, he got he got sandwiched. Nice. So like. Uh, we looked today. And that picture would have been an ambulance <laughs> ride, too. If that well, happened that's to what me. I couldn't believe. You know, yeah, yeah. Beat her ass. Big Bob with the sausage fingers. Yeah. That motherfucker's got a hammer. If he swings it, he's... Listen he, here, you bitch. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. I, he, he didn't do it. No? Like, nope. Like, he's like... So, the owner asked him, why didn't you knock her fucking teeth out? And he goes, well, I thought about it, but she I was... She didn't fucking have any. Yeah, but, but he said, I was thinking about your business, and I didn't want you to get sued, because we did absolutely nothing wrong. I'm like, yeah. that's very professional yeah. of you, Dad. Yeah. Like, you need fucking raise. Yeah, you got a whole fucking chunk taken out of your yeah. arm and, yeah, and to, about, to save this guy's business. And, like, you had every justification to yeah. take and just, like, yeah, my, my, yourself. my natural reaction would have just been, right? Yeah. At least on the nose, there would have been a broke nose out of this deal, right? Yeah, you fucking jerk your arm out. Out of reaction. Just out of plain yeah. reaction. And then he said, like, he had the keys in his pocket, and the lady kept trying to, like, go in his pocket. Trying like, to grab my dick, too? So he's like, he's <laughs> like, I never touched her. He's like, I just took and, like, pinched off my pocket so she couldn't. And, and he's got some, some clawed hopper hands. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not going to break that. So he just stood there and held his pockets and couldn't get the keys out and finally the cops got there and um she she tells the cops i need to talk to you and the cop goes well we can do it from the back of my cop car turn around bam <laughs> put her in cuffs didn't even give her the time of day and they got her with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon which is the car and then because my dad is now 65 they got aggravated battery on the elderly <laughs> <laughs> so Dad's hey, like, well, fuck, now I feel old. Yeah. <laughs> well, he got, he got the AARP, right? Where he well, I guess me and your yeah. brother are going to go get the early bird special. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hey, can I go to lunch yeah. with your dad and get discount? Yeah, man. <laughs> you can. He, he gets all that shit. We only had to pay six ninety five. dollars <laughs> You got Medicare now, man. Yeah. He ain't uh, playing. AARP and A-A-R-P. all that shit. AARP. Hell yeah. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> AARP. 
Assisted American. Google it. <sighs> re- re- reproductive. Oh, God. People. Pussy. Oh. A A R P. ARP. Americans against rape and penises. <laughs> what you got against the penis, man? Well, what does it mean? The A A R P. Americans against real people. The American Association of Reti- Retired Persons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you almost said something else. Yeah. The American <laughs> Association of Retired Persons. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> it, that makes sense, then. We were way off. In 1958, the American Association of Retired Persons, known as ARP, was founded by a retired high school principal, Ethel Percy Andrus, Ph.D., Mm. Oh, she's fat for sure. Ethel Percy. <laughs> oh, Ethel Percy. Eth- Ethel's an Ethel old, old lady name for sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Ethel. She was retired, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she was old. Mm-hmm. Old people are great, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some. Some are just yeah, rude some, dicks. Some are, but like. Like the guy at the, the cool old mission. Ones, the cool ones are cool. The cool, like the guy at the mission. <laughs> the cool ones are cool. <laughs> yeah. The guy at the mission. I don't want it. Oh, yeah. Sir, I'll give you. I'll get you something else. Nope. Like this grumpy old bitch, yeah, man. Yeah, like he was complaining about the chicken not chicken being had all. P- it, it, it had pink in it. Well, okay. It smoked. It's smoked chicken. It's always going to have pink in it. Newsflash. You. And then he didn't want it because it wasn't cooked all the way. Well, sir, we can get you something else. Nope. nope. I, I don't want it. And he just throws it back at him. I'm like, you rude fuck. Like, yeah. Then they came back over and tried to talk to him. And I'm like, <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, fuck off. Yeah. If you That'd don't, be my conversation. Here's my thing. Yeah. If you don't like barbecue, stay the fuck out. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Well, anybody yeah. likes barbecue knows that if it's pink, it's good. Yeah. It's and pink. Then, and that's what she, <laughs> and that's, and that's what the lady told him. Like, well, all of your pork, your ribs, everything's going to have a little bit of a pink line, but that's just the smoke flavoring. That's not yeah. the actual meat being it. undercooked. Nope. Was like, we like, we're assure you that the, the, the chicken's properly cooked the uh, over 165 yeah, degrees. Yeah. yeah. Nope. He just fucking didn't want to hear. I don't want it. Well, then get the fuck out of here. That's right. Go down to McDonald's and get you some real food then, Dick. Hold on. We'll be back. I'm going to burn the fuck out of this one for you. <laughs> well, it's still going to be pink. I'm going to burn the fuck out of it. Char It's going to be charred as fuck, and you'll be like, yep, it's done. Char- Charlie Burl. Charlie Burl. I just don't understand why people got to be nasty be rude for about no it. goddamn reason. Yeah. yeah, man. It's like they messed up my firehouse order the other day. I don't want it. Like, I specifically <laughs> put on there. You know, no lettuce, no tomato, no mayo, no bullshit, right? No, if there's mayo and tomato on it, I'm fucking loaded. Rude. But, but oh, I'll punt that bitch. Yeah, <laughs> but but <laughs> we had lettuce everywhere. Yeah, we had two sandwiches, <laughs> both same thing. Like we didn't want that bullshit on there, and it's clearly in big block letters. Yeah. Like it's huge. It says no, 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 no. Well, we open it up, and everything we yes, said yes, no yes, to yes, yes, yes. is there. So I walk back in, and I was nice. I'm like, no, hey, you. like, yeah. you know. Everything here that says no to, it's actually on here. Oh, no problem. We'll remake it. They apologized. They, no they, I gave them a chance. Like, they took care of it. Now, if they would have fucked it up again, then I'd been like, what the fuck? Y'all can't read? <laughs> but but most people go back in there, and they're just like dicks about it. Like, y'all fuck this up. Da, 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 da. Like, make a big deal out of it when it's not. People make mistakes, yeah. man. I'm, my thing is, like, I don't mind sending it back if I can watch. Well, yeah, but, you can watch like there. restaurants. Sometimes, if you get something and it's not the way you want, so I don't necessarily send that back because yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're. Gonna if it's be, got mayonnaise gonna on think it, though, that I'm the person. Being fuck the dick. mayonnaise! I won't touch it. Like, but I'll just be like, I'm not gonna eat it, and then I'll just can I please get a. Refund? But I feel like but if I you just, approach the situation right. like yeah. decent, like right. you'll probably a get a decent times. response back. But sometimes right? they don't. They don't get that saying. Like the waitress might be like, "Yeah, you know what? Mm-hmm. This guy was really nice about this," but the cooks be like. Man, fuck them. Nah, I think they got some type of code word where, like, make this one special, you know, yeah. and to fuck it up. Or, like, nah, this guy was cool. Like, be, be cool about it. Just made a mistake. What if, what if they're not cool, though? Fuck them. Fuck them. Then they don't have that, that, that communication. Mm-hmm. And then that cook's like, I don't give a fuck. I hate that bitch. All her people's shit's getting fucked up today. Well, that's how I felt whenever I was at uh, the local grocer last uh, Friday after our podcast. Yeah. Thursday. Uh, well, we did the podcast Thursday, but Friday. Oh. So after the podcast, yes, I was correct. 
So we we're, do it on after Wednesday? the podcast, it would been Thursday. Thursday oh, night. Wednesday. We did it on yeah. Wednesday. I'm not going to the grocery store so when I leave here. the day after the podcast, not after the podcast. After the, the Friday podcast implies, after the podcast is what I said. No, he said. Not? I don't know. He, I, no, he I said, said the after, Friday after the no. podcast. <laughs> I did. Listen I to the know. playback. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sucking nobody's dick. Nope. You made it. You implied that after you left the podcast, you went to the store. I did not imply it. You concurred that. It. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> John's I like, don't I'm. Know. I don't know how you could fuck think, that up when I, I said think, the Friday after the podcast. I think you might have said something about a Thursday. You said you didn't say the Friday after. You said Friday okay. after the podcast. Whatever. I don't know. I don't tomato, know. tomato. <laughs> I don't know what was said. Yeah. Tomato soup. Who gives a shit, right? I like tomato soup. So you went. You anyway, went, you went to the store. Yeah, last, last Friday you went to the store. The Friday after the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> I went to the store and we did a, a pickup. So Ashton puts everything in there, and I just got to pick it up on the way home. So she puts it in for the plantation Publix, which we usually don't go to, but it's on my way home. So I'm like, all right, cool, no problem. I get there and I'm like, shit, they only got two of the. Uh, um, parking spots for the curbside that you actually pull in for this service yep and i'm like well shit so i pull around and like i nose into where i'm like straight in with them and, and do kind of like you do at chick-fil-a where you know you turn your flashers on well i look and a guy comes walking back or no the 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 lady comes walking back with all her groceries and shit I'm like, what the hell and she backs out another car pulls in the bitch gets out and goes in the store and i'm like no. Y'all are fucking parking here so that you don't have to walk your happy ass another 10 spots. Well, then the other parking spot that's in front of me, by this time my groceries come, my guy chases all around the parking lot. He couldn't find me. So I'm like, hey, man, I'm sorry, but I'm sitting here watching these people, and they're just parking here and going in the store. They're not even using it for what they're supposed to. The guy comes out, gets something out of his car. And goes back in? It goes back in. And, and probably going in and get a fucking lotto or something like yes, that. Yes. The one the first guy did come out with lottery yeah. tickets in his hand. And this guy comes out and he gets something out of his car, go back in. I'm like, you're a lazy motherfucker. Like, and Ashton can hear me through the phone and she's t- yelling at me <laughs> in the car, like, just stop. Like, stop. And I'm not telling the guy, say, hey, man, sorry you had to chase me around. You got assholes like this <laughs> that park here when they're not supposed to. Yeah. Like, they could go park over there. Like, this service is, is for curbside. Yeah. It's clearly labeled. The fucking thing's painted a different color. It says curbside. And they're using it for the wrong reasons. And it pissed me off so bad. I got home and checked my blood pressure. It was 170 over 90. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's it's not bad. good. <laughs> okay? That's not good. That's high. Real Very high. high. Real oh, yeah. High. You see that shit, like shit any sort of like, say like John goes to the grocery store with his wife. John can park, John will park his car. I'm not, I'm just using you as an example. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll park, like what you said, right in front of the store and just sit there like they're fucking hazards. Flash yeah, that yeah. pisses me off yeah. too. No, if, go park it, while your wife is fucking shopping. When it clearly says, it yeah. clearly says, fire there, lane, fire or lane yeah. no parking. Yeah. What the fuck makes you so special that you get special treatment yeah. and can just bend the rules? Like, these are clearly marked for a different yeah. reason. It's like the assholes that have handicap stickers that borrow my mom's car yep. and they, they go rolling up in there. Like, that's wrong. Yep. There are people that go to just park up front just to go to the ATM, but there's already people at the ATM, so yeah. they're, just, they're just sitting there. Their cars are sitting there while you're waiting in line. No, but fuck it, off. But, but it's like, like, how inconsiderate is that? Like, was I wrong for, like, saying something no. to the guy? Like, fucking lazy bitch? No. Maybe the way you said it. No, 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 no. There, there's no, like, approach that, hey, buddy, you really should. No, fuck you. Yeah. That, like, you're saying fuck all of y'all. Yep. I'm better than you. I get to park in this spot. Even though it's for the wrong reasons. Agree. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I would just been like, "Hey, you realize this isn't uh for your that whatever, and you know." Well, that's like, pretty much what I meant. Yeah, but you cussed at him. <laughs> but he used well, a yeah, lot less him. words than guys point across. Yeah, some things. Sometimes you deserve an asshole in your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and I don't I, want an asshole. Sometimes like you got to be the asshole. Yeah, I feel like that if you're too nice, you get shit You'll on. Just keep doing it. That's why if you're the asshole, you can't get shit on. Yeah. you know what I mean? You can't get no? shit. On. Yeah, if you're nice to them, they'll just keep on doing it. Yeah, because they don't uh, see the problem. I wasn't problem. gonna be yeah. nice. It was just not I, nice. I wasn't just gonna <laughs> scream at them. Yeah, no. Gonna, no. But they deserve. It. They do deserve yeah. to be embarrassed in front of everybody. Hey, yep. dickhead! I, I should have. Yeah, that's hey. a good word. I should have used that. <laughs> hey, fuck to, you, hey, you dickhead! I'm talking to you. Yeah, you fucker. Well, you could tell. Like, I'm not one to judge, but 
the way the people were dressed and the way their cars looked, they had the bunk and bumpers knocked off of them. They were dressed sloppy they don't give as a fuck. fuck. They don't yeah. Give a fuck. And, and like I'm on the phone. And I'm like, you know what? I just got to let this go because, like, I feel like karma takes care of these people anyway. Like, yep. yeah, they cheated the system today. But from what I could see, they got other issues going on. Yeah. Like, pay your fucking copay and get a – not your copay. Pay your fucking deductible and get a new fucking bumper put on. Right. Like, so it, – it, some people, they just don't give a fuck about nothing. No. Bro. Bitch, if I'm paying so for a damn vehicle. You yelling at them, man. I don't give a fuck. I know. But that's the thing. It's what just are you going like, to do? You're going to keep my car? <laughs> but, but, but it pisses me off because they could have literally went not even 20 more feet. Yeah. And there was a parking spot They're lazy as available. Fuck. They're lazy as fuck. Lazy you as fuck. Those people. I know people like that. So instead, instead they made it harder. Car? They made it harder on me as a customer using the service. They made it harder on the employee to provide the service. And it just fucks up the whole system. You better hope my milk's not sour. That's right, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to fucking take this yogurt and shove it up your ass. The It was a kid that brought my stuff out, and I told him, I said, hey, man, people are using these things for the wrong reason, see? And he's just like, oh, I'm I sorry, sir. I'm sorry. And I'm don't like, apologize to me. I'm like, do something about it. <laughs> they ain't, they ain't gonna do don't, be a, about it. don't be a little shrimp dick. They do something about it. They ain't going to do nothing. That's where I want to be a record service and just yeah. sit out there and yank their shit out. Like literally pull the rear end out That's of their like, cars. If, if Ooh, I was if bitch. I was a sheriff, I know what fucking intersections and light I would fucking sit at on a daily basis yeah. to write tickets. Yeah. The fucking corner of Green and Duff, yeah. people drive on the fucking shoulder to turn off a of Duff on the Green. I would sit there every day. Or Markham Road, people fucking run that Markham Road red light to get on ninety eight. I think time. the problem is it's like almost every road. There's shit going on. True. And then the same thing that Markham Road ninety eight uh, intersection. 98 going south, if you're at that light. People drive on the shoulder to turn right there to go to the fucking racetrack. Mm, they like, could cut through the Walgreens. Yeah. Or just fucking wait 10 seconds yeah. to the light turn. Well, that's rain. the problem. Everybody's always in a hurry. Yeah. And it's fuck you. It's only about me. That's the way of the world these yep. days, man. And I'm sick of it. Bullshit. I've that's had why enough. I, that's why I'm going to get a valve stem remover. And I'm going to keep it in my car. And when I see these assholes in these spots. Take all four valve stems out. Right. So I'm not actually damaging their property. No. Right. Uh, they're just taking the air out of their tires. You're helping the environment. And then I'm making shit difficult for them because then they're going to have to call a service. Because most of them probably ain't smart enough like me to keep a fucking air compressor in your car for situations <laughs> like this. So yeah, that's why I didn't jump in the water to save them. <laughs> yeah. That's my truck and my car have yeah. a 12 volt air compressor. And a tire plug kit. So if I get a tire plug, I don't have to wait for road AAA. Roadside service. You're That's your right. own roadside service. Hell yeah. I'm my own road warrior, okay? Yep. AAA is on your side. Fuck you and your $100 a month bullshit. Yep. I got this. So that's what I'm going to do. And then guess what? I'm going to sit there and watch and watch and bask in my glory <laughs> that there are, their, 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 their laziness and their ignorance cost them hours because they did something they weren't supposed to. Hey, what if your um, your car battery dies as you get a flat tire? Or well, that's, flat tires. that's just more karma for them bitches. Yeah, no, for you. Like, oh, I got jumper cables. I, I'll like, hey, man, I can fix your tires no, if nowhere. I can jump the battery. Middle of nowhere. It's your car. Huh? You get a flat tire and your battery died. I got a jump box so you can yeah, keep my car. So I, I actually could, got a jump box, too. Yeah, I could plug the uh, air compression to the jump box. Yeah. That's true. Little, I got one too. It's a little lithium ion jump yeah, yeah. pack. Same thing, and it's got USB ports. You can plug yep. your phone, all kinds of shit in it. Yeah. Yep. Made by Shakespeare. I, I won some. it at my company Christmas party at my previous job. I was mom's, mom's like, China brand off of Amazon. Yeah. I got some type of big ass flashlight that can jump start your car. Mine has a flashlight built into it too. My God, does it like jack you off too? <laughs> if it had hands, it could. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it has jumper cable attachments, so I don't know if you want to do that. It's real quick though, man. It's just like you just press a button and you just go. I mean, I've heard of a Duralast. That sounds like a dongle last. Built to last, Duralast. <laughs> dongle last. I don't remember what it's called, though. A dongle last. Oh, this quick start thing. I don't remember it. Maybe it is called quick start. I don't know. It's a jump box. It's a... Jerk mate? No. <laughs> no jerking in Mine's like Ulu, Ooglu, or something like that. It's a Chinese brand. It's O-O-G-O-O, Ugu. Oh, it might, it might be called a Halo or something like that. Halo. <laughs> Come on, put your stuff in my Halo. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Hmm. So that's my rant. I got I had to get on my soapbox. I was pretty pissed off about that. Like, oh, yeah. It jacked my blood pressure to the sky, man. I like uh, this dicks. morning, getting on the highway, getting on, on I-4, highway. going westbound towards Tampa. 
Woods Town. When you get on the on ramp, there's two fucking lanes there. Yeah. And I was behind a fucking slow ass. The slow ass went into one lane, so I just go in the other lane. And I, it wasn't aggressive or nothing like that. It's like I go in the other lane, which is probably about a hundred yards long yeah. before it starts to merge. That motherfucker starts honking at me for driving in another lane and passing them. Uh, I'm like, why the fuck are you honking at me when I'm following the rules of the fucking road? I had one like that this morning. I was driving over there to the county line. And uh, um, the, the exit, the car whips out from behind the semi to drive in the median like part of it right yeah they could have just went ahead and got all the way out onto the interstate but no they whip out around to get back on the on-ramp and then cut me off and then the very next exit they wait to the last minute and get fucking over to go back over like they just had their head completely up their ass man i had that shit happen to me when it was uh not or i4 again and uh some asshole i could tell you, you can tell, like, by the headlights. I'm like, oh, this is a piece of shit <laughs> fucking minivan. Tell by the headlights. Yeah, you can tell. Like, you know how, like, you look in your rearview mirror, like, oh, that's a Crown Vic. Or, hey, that's a Toyota Tacoma. You right, can tell. You can tell. And I could tell it was, like, a fucking, like, Ford Windstar or something like that. <laughs> that motherfucker was weaving in and out of traffic. Moving on that thing. They got behind me. Practice. And, like, literally on the bumper of my car so I couldn't see their fucking headlights. Wow. I jammed the fucking brake so hard. I, they uh, swerved both directions. <laughs> and next thing you know, they swerved both directions, darted across across three lanes and got off of that exit right there. Probably had to go clean the pants uh, out. Yeah, I was like, I, I scared the fucking shit off out of them. They fucking exited the exit right there. Makes I'm like, sense. bitch, you don't get on my ass like that. Don't get on my ass like that. I fucking break. That was the hardest break I ever break check. Toward the point where I saw their headlights pointing in fucking both directions. When they fucking <laughs> swerve. I'm like, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. And that's how morning wrecks on our horse. <laughs> that's how he get rear-ended. That was years ago. Go ahead and rear-end me. It was your fucking fault. Uh, Ross wanted to get rear-ended. <laughs> I think it was with my last charger. So it was that long ago. Prior to 2012. I was driving on uh, 98 this week and... I was changing lanes for. I was trying to drive around somebody, and it, it was in my blind spot. And I went. I was going. I went over one lane, and I think it was three or four lanes. Mm-hmm. And I went to switch over one more time because I was trying to drive around somebody. Oh. And I guess this truck was accelerating fast. Oh. So I pull. I kind of pulled out in front of him, or whatever. And I. Well. And then so he gets to the side of me, and I went to go change lanes one more time. And I, as I went to go change, he already shifted lanes. Mm. And so, like, I didn't see him right away. So as I, I looked and I saw and I moved over and he honked or whatever. And he wants to sit there and stare me down. And I'm like, why are you? He's like, fuck you, Jesus. Hey, <laughs> all, all, it was, all it was was you see my Jeep jerk over yeah. a little bit and then realize, correct, I never even changed lanes. It was one of those he saw me coming and scared him. And then he's going to sit there and drive and look at me like, and I'm like. I, I stare right back at him. Like, I, I, I was looking, I'm like, looking, I'm like, what, bitch? Like, I didn't even come over there. Like, I was he, about to. He's probably like, well, you'd have seen me if it wasn't for all them fucking ducks in your yeah. windshield. If you get your uh, fucking hair out of your fucking face. <laughs> get a haircut. <laughs> yeah. Put your fucking hair up in a man bun, you. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I didn't invite that challenge. You think yeah. you're fucking Jesus, the second Hi. coming of Jesus over there? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Listen here, ponytail boy. You know what rhymes with Jeep? Creep. <laughs> <laughs> hey. And you know what else rhymes? It's because you're about to be in it. It's called deep. Deep <laughs> shit. All right. Listen here, hombre. Yeah, he would have got smoked. I'm coming here and I'm going to knock that fucking half-ass beard off your face. I'm about to introduce you to the fucking New Testament. Yeah. <laughs> You over there with a chin strap, you better buckle up, motherfucker. (laughs) Put your helmet on. Let's go. Yeah. Put your dick beaters up. That's how I know you can't do anything, because you talk too much shit. Yeah. (laughs) Trying to scare me off. That's just like a defense mechanism. You thought you'd fucking die for my sins. You're about to die because you can't fucking drive. (laughs) That's right. You see my truck right here? It's got an 18-inch lift on it to match my dick. (laughs) Oh, yeah. You want to see it? No. (laughs) Yep. Uh, 
Your big truck says you're overcompensating. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here driving a Ford F-250. <laughs> yeah. You got over there we're creeping in a Jeep. Let's go. <laughs> I'm secure with my Cobra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. You don't want none of this. That's right. Fuck on there. <laughs> Get out of the car then, bitch. Jesus, take the wheel. More like Jesus about to take this fucking ass whoop. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <along. laughs> About to pray to God for this one. <laughs> Although it would be hard to take you serious, you hop out of the car. <laughs> oh, shit. You hop out of the car and you got your uh, your, your, your sandals lone, on. Yeah, that and your lone wolf shirt on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the the it was it the the wolf in the mountains and all that. Yeah. Like, uh, or right. the tiger, or the, the white tiger one. Yeah, fuck you, medicine man. You don't need a lot of it when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> you, may, you may wear a fucking Dale Earnhardt shirt, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah, more like Dale Bernhardt. <laughs> Get you some tums for this ass whipping. <laughs> ass burn I'm about to give you. <laughs> well, I won't win the shit talking battle, that's for no. sure. That's right. Your mom. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> I bet you won't. <laughs> when I'm done with you, you're going to be delivering pizzas down there to Domino's. That's it. Oh, I wonder if Mark Andrews uh, fractured a collarbone. I fucking told you. Nope, he'll be back. I try to tell you, bro. I think he's got a collarbone injury. Oh, he hates Tom Brady. Fitzmagic? He does. Yeah? Yeah. He says... Uh, Tom Brady disrespects him so much, and he like has like something against him. I think that's why they brought him back because he just disclosed all this here in the he, last couple weeks. Wow. Uh, Fitzmagic said that um, Tom Brady made a statement like, "Oh, you guys decided to keep this that motherfucker." Guy or that yeah. Motherfucker or Talk about like the that. Dolphins because he was trying to go to the Dolphins, not Tampa. Oh, I heard that was actually about Tannehill. Well, that's- he said that the Vrabel. But that that's probably what it was, but yeah. he took it as yeah, Fitzpatrick took he it thought, as he thought yeah. like everybody else thought that he was going to Miami. <laughs> well, they ain't wrong because Tom Brady's still playing and Fitzmagic is on the prime video fucking set. Fitzmagic still wants to come back. He's like, yeah, I just want to take a few years off and come back in like five years because I know I can still sling it. Man. But he yeah. never never won the Super Bowl. He had like yeah. moments of brilliance. He played for like half the NFL too. He played for every team, yeah. I was at the game where the Fitzmagic thing started. Yes, we were both there. Yeah, you said two rows behind us. <laughs> I did. Yeah, because yeah. you bought a ticket. Like, hey, I bought a ticket to the game, too. I'm sitting two rows behind you guys. <laughs> yeah. Same section, two yeah. rows up. That was cool. Yeah. No, literally, it, it wasn't cool. It was hot as fuck that Literally night. the same distance yeah, from he, me to you right now. You sat away from us. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. I tried to look for tickets to go again this year, and it's just so fucking expensive yeah. to go to a game, man. We got to go to the uh, NASCAR race in Daytona. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'd even drive to Homestead for a NASCAR race. Yeah, I ain't never been to that one. Yeah. Daytona's uh, be coming up here shortly, February. Yeah. I say it every year. We already get us a Winnebago. Yeah, yeah. Every, you're like, Winnebago, I, back man. in the days, I didn't even know a guy who we can use, probably use this. Yeah, I'm gonna, was, your old roofing guy? Old roofing Didn't guy. he die? Yeah, he died. Yeah, so we yeah. can't use his Winnebago. Nah. <laughs> nah. We'll no, we'd have, we'd have to do like a rent an RV, kind of like the that, that movie RVing. You know where it's got the whole fucking billboard on the side of it, and you can tell that these are like amateur campers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you bring your Punani press. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. You could have got a Punani press, and he turned it down. <laughs> what? This motherfucker. I got a knife set. That's what I said. You already have knives at home. You don't have a Punani press. That's what I said. I think I do have a Punani. Press. You don't have. I don't think you do. I, think I do. Well, how come he didn't bring it camping? Because I didn't think about it. He could have got a fucking tent too, but he turned that down. I don't want a tent. Yeah, yeah we don't go camping anymore. So why do we need a tent? We don't do anything anymore. Well, it was the last time we went camping. His place yeah. of employment was rewarding him for 10 years of service, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you get the Rolex? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> they did have a watch no, on there. he just told you. He got a fucking Gamagatsu knife set. <laughs> Kamikaze knife set? Yeah. Kamikaze knife set. Made by Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I don't know if it's the Bruce Lee. It wasn't. They didn't have the copyright. Okinawian thing, uh, knife set. Yeah. It's no, it's no worries, you know. I like it. Although I think that the Okinawians they use like swords, like ninja fighting. Oh yeah. So you're gonna look more like a home invader instead of a ninja. Did you use them like tonight to chop up the quinoa and asparagus? I don't think Ooh. I. I don't. I won't get it till next year. Next year? What? Yeah. They made it. you pick it this early. You might yeah. change your mind by then. 
I didn't, yeah. even, I didn't even want that you know anyways. What? We might want to go camping again. Yeah. For White Elephant this year, I'm purposely bringing a knife set, and I'm going to make sure you get it. <laughs> a, be- it. a better knife set. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your 10-year gifts. I don't want it. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, they, they had that. They had a blender, a Poonanny press. They had a, a Weber grill, a little tailgate grill, right? Yeah, yeah. charcoal grill. Yeah. They, had, they had some items, man. Um, they had nothing just really seemed to really appealing. They had so. some earrings, some hooped earrings. Oh, yeah. All the, the hoops. All the jewelry, though, didn't have, like, how many carrots it was. So it was probably just plated, huh? Yeah, I don't even know what that means. It was plated, not actually gold. Like, it was like Folex, Versace. Yes. So it would be, like, steel covered in something. You know, I would assume, you know. yeah, it would be fake as hell. Yeah. Turn your shit green. Uh, yeah, it could do that. Oh, it's it's kind of like the old vending machines. We used to get necklaces out of them, and then your neck. I never got a necklace out of the vending machine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I always got my shit from the mall, from the kiosks at well, the mall. No, they had the little claw machine, and it had like jewelry. And oh shit yeah, and you can go there, and then you like you. I get never won anything in the claw machines. Well, yeah, it was like fake gold. How like legit was... were the mall booths, though, set, selling jewelry? I still got uh. My Pearson Pagodas, where I got. My, I don't know my where my I don't stuff. know where my chain is, but I still got the bracelet, and it's yeah. still sterling silver, still 100 percent good. Yeah, mine. Got I got I got thing gold ones. You put on it, it detects it, and do 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 do. No. no, it's not green, and I've had that thing for like twenty years. So that's, that's how I know it's still silver. Mine's a little tarnished, like it needs yeah, cleaning. I got, yeah, well, I got it's I bought polished. the rag and all that, and the thing polished, brand new. Yeah, I, I got the Cuban link. You know? Yeah, mine was the uh, was the other one, Figueroa. Figueroa. Yeah, yeah, Figueroa. For whatever reason, I got like I just I like the Cuban stop link. wearing stuff. I don't know. I did why. too. I, I gotta wear a stop. watch. I wear a watch all the time. The only time I don't wear it when I'm actually home. For for like a solid like ten or twelve years, I always had a chain. On. And like always. I never I never took my chain and my bracelet off back yeah. in the day. Like I wore that shit twenty four seven. Same thing. Like, I t- unless I played everything. sports and I took it off, of course, for the sports. Yeah, and just one day I was just like, yeah. oh, yeah. I took it off and I never put it back on. Yeah. I but I still know. wear a watch every day. Nope, I don't even do that. I I wear a watch every day too. It's right here. in my pocket. Yeah. Now now I have a smart watch. I used to have like the the How metal smart like is the. It? The silver watches and all that, like the yeah, yeah, the fossils. Yeah, I had, I got like five of them things. That I used to have Citizen Echo drives and yeah. all that stuff. Back with the watches. old. Yeah. Now I just wear the Samsung watch. Smart watch replacement. Smart watch. watch. Yep. Huh. Yeah, that wine's not too bad, buddy. That's not bad at all. I wonder where it's at on the price point. Yeah, I was about to say. I drink that shit. What is it called again? Lake, Lake Ridge. Ridge. Wine yeah. and vineyards. Southern Red. Premium Red. It's pretty decent. Red. Sweet red wine. Oh man. Yeah, that's about it. Yep. Yep. Um, pulled an all-nighter last night working. Been a while since I did that. I was you asleep actually by like pulled nine an o'clock. all-nighter. Like you didn't get even an hour of sleep. Well, it's not, it was in the morning. We didn't, I didn't Dude, what time did y'all start? Uh, nine p.m. Yeah. Got done about one something. I thought it was about two. Two. And then they Went met. A, house. Then they met us at the Waffle House. Hell, yeah. was, did they give you a hard down? time buying uh, beverages at the gas station? No. Really? I thought they had like a curfew when they had to quit selling. Well, no. Didn't say nothing to me. Yeah, there's no curfew. Yep. Alcohol, I don't think. So I bought some beer. You can even buy it on Sunday mornings now. Hmm. Easy like a Sunday morning. Yeah. We celebrated. Yeah. Had a beer. And had celebrated it. doing your fucking job. Yep. And then, <laughs> but we uh, did it well. <laughs> yeah. Then we went in the Waffle House, had some breakfast. Smother and cover. We went back to the Waffle House. The last time I was there, I did not have a shirt on. The last time I was there, I slept on the sidewalk. They tried to fit five of us at a three-person table or yeah. six of us we, at a... We sat at the same spot, and they fixed the, the roof leak. Mm-hmm. I was impressed. And the we, food was really good. Yeah. I still had to shit it out. Like, I'm good. Jesus. I did. I did. Did you? One of the other co-workers, like, this morning, he's it's like, hurting. we were like, where you been, man? He's like, I don't feel good, man. That food, like, like what do you mean? He's How like, dare you disperse the good name of Waffle House? Uh, it must have been in the waffle batter because I didn't have waffles. I had a dude's brew. Oh, the peanut butter waffles are fucking great. It was brewing, but it didn't it didn't hit me yet. I usually get the Texas, like a Texas toast, like steak sandwich thing. Oh, I always get. We yeah. got the uh, hash brown bowl. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty good. Spice I always get smothered and, and covered. Smothered, uh... Smother. I think you just get the smother with the cheese uh, yeah. hash browns. Yeah, and then uh, cheese, I get man. a side waffle. They gave you a lot of damn hash browns. The peanut browns butter waffle. Bowl. It was oh, a yeah. lot. Like I didn't even eat all mine, and I, I normally eat all I my didn't, shit. I didn't eat it all. Yeah, yeah, like I was amped up. I'm like, I'm not going to bed. 
I got home and I Went stayed right up. To bed. Nope, I stayed up for a little bit, about four thirty. I'm like, well, I'll just lay down. Like I need to probably get rolling by about, uh, you know, six. And um, I laid down and it was no time. Like, See, why I, would you not go to bed when you went home? Because I wasn't tired. I was amped up because I had went home the day before at lunchtime and I slept that afternoon, anticipating like we had a long night ahead of us. But are you gonna be able to go to bed when you get home tonight? I don't know. I slept all afternoon again. So you gotta be at work at your own time. I only got a couple hours. I feel tired. Like I really I'm could. Tired. Like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm super tired. Like I, my 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 sleep pattern's all fucked up. That's why I'm not as funny tonight. Cause I'm tired. Oh. oh. <laughs> we didn't notice any difference, man. You were on your A game, man. No. Oh, really? No. <laughs> what, what the problem is, every time you eat, like right before and late, yeah, I get you, get, you sleepy. I get sleepy. It's so. the same thing in like lunchtime. Right? As soon as you eat, you're, you're Sleepy yeah. John. Yeah. Sleepy I John. Sleepy. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah. Sleepy John. So, like, normally when you come over here, like, you've already ate and you passed the sleep You're already stage sleepy when you get here. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you're, you're starting your second win. Like, you're going to get a second win by the time you walk out the door. Just get home and keep the fucking door open. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey! <laughs> Wake everybody up. Daddy's home. Yeah. <laughs> what, you don't want to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> you just woke me up. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't like pizza? Oh, yeah, what the want? fuck? When did you become such a prune? I mean, it's a Thursday night. Let's get lit. I'm trying. Mm. We drank some wine tonight. Yeah, yeah, we did. Like I said, uh, I've drank more bad stuff than I have good stuff. I don't think I've had water in about six days. Jesus Christ! Well, well I if you're drinking liquid, it has water in it, so you're I, good. I had a decent amount of water today. That's my problem. I'm tired for the wrong reasons. I'm Shit! Dehydrated. I had four bottled water since I got home from work. That's good. Well, damn. I'm proud yeah. of you. Well, damn. Yeah. That's part of your uh, weight loss. No, I, I do that all the time. That's all, I've always I'm done that. I'm saying the, the water, it's, it helps. It helps Metabolism. I'm yeah. just thirsty. <laughs> but right. it, you're going to be more thirstier the more you keep doing it. I'm thirsty. Oh. Thanks, nutritionist John. Oh, you know, dog. <laughs> Nutrition John. Johnny, I got you, man. Drink Johnny more Nutrition. Water. Johnny Newt. Arnold says when you first wake up, you need to drink a Take big steroids. glass of water. Uh-huh. <laughs> Take With your, your steroids. steroids. Take your steroids and your big nothing glass of better, water. Go, nothing better in the morning than washing your steroids down with a nice eight-ounce glass of water. It ensures you wash them down. <laughs> but, yeah, he, it, but his whole thing was that water booster. Like, it gets your metabolism going first thing. It, it basically tells your body, hey, I'm up. It also tells your bladder to empty itself. Right. Well, that happens no matter what when I first wake up. But yeah, Arnold's all about drinking water first thing. That guy looks great these days. Yeah. Well, With his back dehydrated his fucking flabby skin and all that stuff. Yeah, he looks, he like, looks a, like a raisin. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. Yep. Yeah. California raisin. He went from the grape to the raisin, man. <laughs> it's hard to maintain. Gravity was not kind. The physique that he had, yeah. man. Gravity was not kind to his skin. Yeah, as soon as he got off he's, steroids. He's, 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 well, uh, dude, and like, you that muscle like you can't maintain that forever like that yeah i'm living proof look you can't keep it forever (laughs) like your body's eventually going to deteriorate i saw uh jeff benzos uh is on some roids or some test who oh shit get out of there boy Uh, jeff benzos jeff bezos they said he's basically on testosterone replacement i don't know i don't follow ex amazon owner He's, no, he's not he's the. Looking, he's still the Amazon owner. I thought he sold it. No, no, I thought he sold it. No, I think his wife got half his shit when they got divorced. Look at it. Look, I think I thought no, he sold right. it. I think he sold it. Look it up. Well, look nothing up. Look it up. All right, we we take your word for it, John. I'm looking. Get it on up. with your story. You think maybe? But they said that they think he's on roids. Who cares? He got, he's gotten jacked. And well, he's probably figured out how to make artificial balls. He fucking sold his business. He has nothing else to do but fucking work out. And yeah, I'm not saying he's doing it. I'm I mean, just saying that's what they said. He, it, he's a billionaire. He could afford a Bowflex. So all he does is sit at home all day in his fucking garage well, and crushes it on the Bowflex. He probably invented the first tec- testicle replacement. Your testicles stop producing testosterone. He figured out how to keep <laughs> Test- them going. Testicle room. Testosterone. Testicle. Test test testicles in this room. <laughs> Meet me in the Waffle House. It's going down. We could end this thing if y'all want. It's 10 o'clock. Is it really? It is. Well. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. 
I'm in my crop top. <laughs> I thought you were going to say cooking in the crock pot. Cooking the crock pot. You're in your crop top. <laughs> Who'd yeah. you borrow that from? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what, what rhymes with the, crop uh, top? What rhymes with drop top and crop top comes up? I'm Between the crop. sheets. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he still bam, owns bam, it. Bam, but bam. I think he still owns it, but he sold a lot of other stock. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, John, with questioning my integrity, hey, my, my factual integrity. I thought I saw something where he sold, uh, like he's no longer, but whatever. Yeah, check your I, sources, I'm wrong, man. I'm wrong, I'm wrong every now and then. You know yeah, check saying? your sources. Every I now and then. I just looked. I checked the internet. <laughs> check the internet, man. <laughs> check the internet. <laughs> it's worth a Google. Stop. You stop. Oh, Google. You've been nonstop all night. Hey, Google. Hey, yeah. Google. That's all we're going to ask Okay, you. Google. Whenever, whenever, hey, she she responded. Yeah, I like ask it a question. Okay, Google, what time is it? <laughs> Why aren't you talking? <laughs> she's answering, but she's not talking. Oh. Okay, Google, Unmute. read that shit out loud. You bitch. Is it your own silent, violent, vibrate? Maybe? No. Okay, Google. What day is it? Time to go fuck yourself. Okay, Google. Oh, I heard it that time. What's my name? Big Daddy. Your name is Ross. Hey, it is. Hey. How does it know? I don't know. You should change it to, like, Old Daddy, Old Daddy, yeah. Okay, Google. Who is here with me? Damn it, you fucking dumb bitch. Okay. How do you, I don't even know if I can use Siri on mine. I don't know. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. My we have phone, a, you have an my iPhone phone, three. My yeah. phone's so old. It you gotta you gotta hold like the middle button or something when you do it. I think you hold it. Hey Siri. I'm holding it. <laughs> I'm holding it. Hey. Yes. Maybe I got Siri turned off. You probably do. I don't even think I have Siri. My phone's so old. Probably got location services and everything turned off. Hey, no, I, we just had you do that because every time you did it, it sounds like you're scared. Hey Google! Hey Google! Hey Google! What time is it? <laughs> yeah, ask Siri. Listen, hey Siri, that's off. Press hold for Siri, that's off. I gotta turn all. Yeah, so you fucking to be government's hooked. listening in on my shit. That's right. They're gonna record <laughs> this. If they want to hear what I got to say, they better be a subscriber to the Born Fucking Stupid Apple Show. Fucking Apple instead of Hey Siri, it's pretty much Hey Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> They're still listening, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just enabled Siri. Hi, yeah. <laughs> they enabled it. Hey Siri, what's my name? Nothing. Siri, what's my name? Oh, it gave me my name. It didn't say it, though. Say it out loud, bitch. Like me, you gotta turn up your volume. Yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> yeah, you gotta turn it off of uh, the 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 volume down. Crank it up. Turn it up some. Hey Siri, what's my name? Uh, my name is not Marshall. Marshall. Hey Siri, what's my name? <laughs> you're John. Hi, That's you're John. You told me. Anyway. Anyway. Say so suck my balls. Hey Siri, call me El Diablo. Calling El Chapo. Okay. You'd like me to call you El Diablo? It's yes. 2022 and John's doing shit with his phone for the first time that people did in 2009. Now ask him what's my name. So ask ask for my name. Hey Siri, what's my name? It's John Tremblay. <laughs> <laughs> he got the whole name now instead of El Diablo. Hey, bitch, I just told you your Siri, name. Siri, I just told you to call me. <laughs> you can do that in the contacts app. Oh, I'm done. Turn it off. <laughs> I'm done with you. Hey, ask her to show you some, some nudes or something. Okay. She ain't got no problem being done with me. I don't want to see her nudes. Robot nudes. No, they usually talk shit back to you. Like, I'm not comfortable with that. Well, that's why I don't use Siri, because she don't understand me. I guess I got to get with the technology. <laughs> I do ask Alexa a lot, but Siri's just not my dog. Why don't they ask Jeeves anymore? Because <laughs> 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 right. he kept saying G's. G or oh, geese. Oh, geese. Ask Jeeves. Micah thought geese was G's once. <laughs> yeah, I still do. 
G's and geese. G's geese. It's all about the G thing, baby. Well, that's it, folks. That's our cue. Yep. Now it's time to catch your second win. I ain't got no second win. Take it now. You are the wind beneath my knees. All right, well, I guess we'll see you all next week. We're done. You're done. Thanks for listening, if you did. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye.